What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today, if I sound a little bit different, it is because I'm using my mobile setup recording in a hotel room because I am at GuardianCon, a fantastic event here in Tampa, um, raising a ton of money for the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. We're over $2.7 million, I think. That's absolutely fantastic, but... Today, we are going to be talking about the new Bungie weekly update that has just been released and has detailed a bunch of official Destiny 2 news. So let's hop right into it here with one of the bigger PvE additions, but I think it's also going to affect PvP as well, coming in the July 17th update 1.2.3, which is bounties. Yes, bounties are coming back from Destiny 1, they're returning to the game, and they are launching with a few unique changes. So let's talk about what Bungie said about them. Now, senior lead design Tyson Green said that with the original launch of Destiny, bounties provided a set of daily objectives that players could use to advance faction reputation or earn experience to level up their gear. These were removed to streamline the activity experience in Destiny 2 and reduce the number of chores that players felt compelled to complete every day day. In retrospect, we realize that it was an overcorrection and optional daily objectives to achieve specific goals are something we want to restore. So, the bounties returning to Destiny 2 in update 1.2.3 are a return to most of the properties of bounties in the Taken King expansion for D1. They will be obtained from a variety of vendors. They will generally award XP and faction reputation, though some will offer even better rewards. And they can be redeemed in the field to immediately claim those rewards. Now in Forsaken, you may also see some bounties drop in the wild. So while you're doing activities in the Forsaken expansion, you could get a bounty not from any sort of vendor, but while you're doing an activity or perhaps while you've completed a certain mission or objective. Additionally, there are two new mechanics. Bounties will expire if left uncompleted, and acquiring them will cost a small amount of glimmer. We wanted to avoid the grab every bounty you see in your inventory until it's packed and sort them out later experience without constraining players to the tiny inventory they have found in previous iterations of the game. So that's actually pretty interesting, the fact that bounties in D2 will actually expire over time, so you can't just grab them all and wait until the next day and then maybe you complete them, maybe you don't. If you grab a bounty, you actually have to go out and proactively do that bounty. Lastly, in Forsaken, more vendors will have more bounties on offer, and some will provide legendary, or better, rewards for completing them. So that is really interesting. Those two words, that little parentheses saying, or better, basically confirms that bounties in Destiny 2 will have exotic rewards. The return of exotic bounties has been confirmed because frankly, you say legendary or better, there's only one tier above legendary and, and that's exotic. Now what exactly will the exotic rewards be? Will there be weapon exotic bounties somewhat similar to Destiny 1 with stuff like uh, I'm thinking for the dawning, the introduction of the sunrise bounty and the reward of the icebreaker sniper rifle. That feels like a true exotic bounty reward, whereas some of the other exotic rewards like the Thorn and the Pocket Infinity um, that were acquired through bounties when Destiny first launched, they were much more similar to quests, and exotic quests are already very well established in Destiny 2, so I feel like anything like that would just be a quest, whereas something like the Icebreaker was truly a bounty reward. You just outright got it if you were lucky enough to get it in that specific Sunrise bounty. But I digress. Again, it could be weapons like we just talked about, but it could also be armor. It could also be exotic catalysts, and it could be cosmetic exotics, something like sparrows or ships. But whatever the specific rewards end up being, bounties will reach into the upper echelon of the loot rarities with exotic, and that's really exciting. 
Now, speaking of bounties, Game Informer, who has an exclusive deal to show Forsaken content for the month of July, has detailed some of the ways bounties are going to be coming up with Forsaken. There will be a fallen NPC called the Spider who is going to hand out bounties for you to complete to go and hunt down the outlaws that have escaped from the prison of elders. However, there's going to be different tiers of bounty you can accept, I think up to four. And the higher the tier, the higher the difficulty, with the maximum bounty tier unlocking a new activity, Outlaw Lost Sectors. So, once you accept this bounty from Spider to go and complete an Outlaw Lost Sector, you're going to be sent to a variety of different locations, including Lost Sectors on stuff like the EDZ and Titan, including, of course, the new areas of the Tangled Shore and the Dreaming City. And then going through this Lost Sector and completing this big Outlaw Fallen boss is going to be much harder than your normal Lost Sector. Now, these bounties will cost you quite a bit to activate, but if you complete them, they will give you pretty substantial rewards. Now, continuing on with some of the information Game Informer talked about, Bungie is really looking to spice up Flashpoints in Forsaken. So right now, Flashpoints, I actually really enjoy doing Flashpoints, but it can be a little bit boring, especially depending on which planet the Flashpoint is featured. If you're on something like you know, Mercury or even Titan, you're often just waiting around for public events. But now, with Forsaken, Lost Sectors are actually going to be rolled into being a part of Flashpoints. And you can actually accept patrols and complete those patrols in Lost Sectors, apparently, which is a huge quality of life improvement when farming Flashpoints. In addition to that, there's going to be more mini-bosses and just random things to do, especially in the new areas of the Dreaming City, and the Tangled Shore coming in Forsaken when those are the featured flashpoints. So just more stuff to do, more enemies to fight, quality of life improvements, flashpoints are going to be a lot better. And guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.